So I'm here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. There's a five day Buddhist holiday going on here in Thailand. So everybody has the day off. Everybody's out of town. They're traveling to all over different places out of the country to the islands. So I decide, you know, since I'm gonna make the eventual move to Chiang Mai, Thailand, I might as well come out here, get some rest and relaxation away from the, the crazy and big city. After living in Bangkok, Thailand for two years, and this is probably one of the main, you know, one of the main reasons why I decide, let me try giving Chiang Mai a try, is that, you know, when you first move to Bangkok as an expat, if you're, if you don't have a set basis, a set foundation of being disciplined and having boundaries, you can easily get lost, especially for a young person that had just moved to Bangkok. I'm talking to you English teachers out there. Now, what am I talking about specifically? Well, there are some things from my personal experiences that I've come across after living in Bangkok for close to two years. For me, it's the nightlife scene. The endless amount of rooftop bars, clubs, bars, everything you can name of. With the country opening back up and no more curfews, it's so easy and it's so convenient to just indulge and easily become an alcoholic here in this country. It's great, it's lovely, you know, that's how you build a lot of your social circles here in Thailand. At the same time, if you don't, if you don't have any set boundaries in tapering off, you can easily just drink your ass off and just party the entire night. One shot, two shot, three shots, endless amounts of drugs of beer. After a while, maybe one or two times that's fine, but maybe after a while these effects start compounding and it starts affecting your health, it starts affecting your sleep schedule, and it starts affecting, most importantly, your wallet. And you're gonna end up becoming broke and having to move back to your home country. I really do love Thailand. This country is literally a libertarian's dream country. That's why I live here. But with these things, with these indulgences, you need to have somewhat, some boundaries, some discipline. Otherwise, you're just gonna get lost and be all over the place. And it's not just bars and clubs and the partying. You can also go into the more, you know, in regards to sex tourism, if you go to areas like Nana or Soy Cowboy, you know, if you're into that kind of thing and you're just going over there buying lady drinks and paying for go-go's and bar girls and all that stuff. Because if you really think about it, all these interactions that you go to in these certain areas, these are all transactional. The relationships, the interactions, everything is transactional. Everything comes with a price. You just gotta see it for what it is and you know, just don't get emotionally invested in whatsoever. Just go there maybe one or two times, think of it as nothing, have fun with your friends and leave. You know, I would advise against it becoming a reoccurring activity because it's not real. It really isn't real. So that's also another form, that's also another factor of living in Bangkok where you can easily, easily, easily get lost. Now, I forgot to mention about this one part on partying, but to caveat on that issue is that, you know, you're indulging in alcohol and comes illicit substances, drugs. It's easily available. It's easily accessible. So one thing leads to another and, you know, you're completely out of your state, drunk, sober, doing, taking all kinds of pills. And to a lot of people that leads to a lot of downward spiral if you have no control i'm not trying to preach to you guys that i'm some sort of you know goody two shoots straight edge saint you know i've done my fair share of alcohol and drugs do i still do it now i don't know maybe but compared to what i was back then versus now i've tapered down that a lot and yeah i just need to take a step back and you know move yourself away from from all that because yeah, maybe once in a while, that's fun. You know, if you want to go out and, you know, have fun, because let's be real, you know, me telling you not to do it, you're still going to do it. Or any type of anti-drug ad or whatever, people are still going to experiment. Once in a while, sure, that's fine. But doing it on a reoccurring basis, in a reoccurring manner, long-term effects aren't going to be good for your health. And eventually with all these factors, whether it comes to partying, alcohol, drugs, you know, leads to a lot of running with the police. And that can be, that can get you into a really sticky situation. I don't know if I'm gonna get into detail about this. 
Uh, I've had a few run-ins myself, but it's best to take, in a, take a position in a preventative position than to get yourself evolved in the process. What I mean by that is that if you're having fun, just go home early. Do not continue the night through 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., way into the early, early mornings because that puts you in a position of risk. So it's better for you guys to call it a night fairly early than to drag the night along and puts you more and more at risk. There's gonna be multiple parties involved. You don't know if one person is a crazy psychotic maniac, you know, a f***ing loose cannon, or this other person is a shitty person that you may not know about that can put you at risk. So it's better to be in a position, in a preventative pos position. Now, a couple things that I can propose that can help you not get lost here in, in Thailand, you need to have hobbies. You really do need to have some hobbies. Whether your hobbies, there's plenty of hobby groups all over Bangkok, whether you can be in a, uh, you can learn oil painting, cooking, Muay Thai, rugby. There are all kinds of hobbies and all kinds of clubs all over Bangkok, all over Thailand. One of my good friends who lives in Pattaya, you know, obviously Pattaya is known for their crazy nightlife, everybody's favorite hedonistic place, but he, he rides bikes. And uh, every two to three times a week, he meets up with his motorcycle club and they ride around all over Pattaya, all over Chomburi. You know, they make trips all the way down further south over to Rayong. And it's a really cool riding group. You know, and through that, you know, you make connections. You have similar, similar interests, commonalities. So you generally want to do something during the daytime. Another thing that can help is that you need to have a close circle of friends. Not just your degenerate friends that like to go out and get drunk and go crazy. No, those are, those are more superficial, surface level, artificial friends. Those aren't real friends. You need to have like a close circle of friends, maybe just a handful, three, four, just a really tight core, close circle of friends that actually can give you solid advice, that are doing well for themselves, making good money, having good stable jobs, uh, that have families. It's really important to have a close circle of friends None of this lone wolf type of bullshit, that doesn't work. You need meaningful relationships and friendships. People that are gonna help you, that are gonna build you up. In return, you build them up and you help them. So you need a solid core group of friends. Now, last but not least, the one that I advise the most is getting in shape, focusing on your fitness, training, lifting weights, and eating healthy. It could be anything, Pilates, yoga, Muay Thai, weightlifting, CrossFit, anything that will get you in shape, running, swimming, and just having good, solid food to help you out. At the very end of the day, you need to take care of your health. All this partying, all these drugs and alcohol, it's not doing anything, it's not doing anything for your health. So you definitely need to have nutrients. You need to have a nutrient dense diet. You need to be eating healthy, you need to be exercising, and you need to be sleeping at a reasonable hour. From time to time, I do consultation calls. People can book a session with me and then I help them get settled here in Thailand. And for the past couple of clients, I've had a lot of people asking me about what kind of gyms that they should go to. Where's the best place for a good, healthy food? I'm really happy to hear that. I'm really happy to hear that more and more people that I've been helping get settled into Thailand are having more of a focus on eating healthy, finding best places to train, and just overall being active. That's what I like to fucking hear. Makes me, makes me very happy, especially when it comes to health and fitness. I want you guys to take good fucking care of yourselves. So anyways, this video isn't about me being altruistic. I'm not trying to virtue signal you about not partying. Go party, go experience that. I did, you should too. Just be safe about it. If things get out of control, if things get out of hand, reevaluate your life, reevaluate your choices, refocus, and start taking good care of yourself. Which is, kind of, which is one of the main reasons why I'm planning on experimenting. I'm planning on moving up north over to Chiang Mai from Bangkok in a couple months. And I'm going to show you guys how the lifestyle here is going to be like from my personal perspective. Who knows? It could work. I might end up moving back to Bangkok or maybe a different part of Thailand or maybe a different country. Who knows? 
That's my life. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. You guys are taking good care of yourselves. Thanks for watching this video. I love each and every one of you guys, and I mean it. Take care. See you guys in the next video.